today and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get this cab together but first we need to chop the back of this thing so we can assemble it. Five, four, three, two, one. So I haven't done a lot on this for a little bit, but the other day I came down, um, put my firewall in, a few bits and pieces, and I want to get this cab assembled. But before we assemble the cab, which I'm going to do on the chassis, we need to take four inches out of this cab back, which is kind of together. I'm going to do the finishing off work once it's all together. Um, but I've got two rows of gaff tape, which conveniently equates to four inches, which is what this has been chopped at. So we'll get into that right now. We'll chop this, tack it back on, and then we'll start putting the cab together and making some framework for that. It's going to be a fun day. that wasn't too hard um, I've just got it put together with vice grips so what I'll do now I'll tack this corner first we'll line up that side tack that corner and we'll just stitch it together for now and then we can start assembling the cab it's gonna look good Well, as the rain comes down, um, I am somewhat happy with that. Happy with my work. I'm working with what I've got 
which has been quite difficult. Um, but we have the four inch top in place now. I'll finish welding it up when we get it all together. So next step now, I'm going to assemble the cab on the chassis, doors back, and we'll start making the inner structure for it. So it's one piece. That's kind of what happens when you don't have enough room. Seriously, I just don't have enough room. But, we have something that resembles a 1930 Ford Model A pickup cab. It is atrocious. The, so, the the sweep on this side doesn't match the door and I know the door's right because it's been on another car this one was off the mongrel it just doesn't scoop in much so I'm going to have to cut that and push it in um, the plot just thickens on this thing but I'm not giving up and on this side it lines up not too bad I don't know if you can see that it's not perfect but it's workable ah. anyway Let's get a better look at this thing, hang on. Ideally, if I had the room, which I might have to do, I might have to drag this chassis outside, is um, build the cab on the floor, because it just, it's just got to be flat and level. Um, the problem with this chassis, it sweeps up, and I've got a way to deal with that, but to get things lining up properly, I might actually just build this thing on the floor, and it's going to stop that garbage happening like it just did, with things falling over. Um, those top panels there were on the mongrel I made them up a long time ago they're a little bit short for that actual cab back but we'll make them work once all the doors lined up and stuff I think they'll be fine but I'll tell you what I'm done sometimes you just got to put the tools down and you go you know what that'll do for today have a breather and um, come back when you're feeling fresh But yeah, he's getting there. I think it's going to be a good little truck once he's done. Well, that's it for me today. I think we'll um, work on the framework next episode. I'm done. So anyway, stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. What do you reckon, Stinky? Yeah, I thought so.